COCA stands for comorbid conditions of ADHD and that pretty much explains what we are looking for. It has been thought in previous times that ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, is a childhood condition. That means that the condition remits if you grow older. However, it is meanwhile known that the symptoms can persist into adulthood and also adults can suffer from ADHD. However, the appearance of the disorder considerably changes. Hyperactivity gets lower, decreases, while inattention can stay. And most importantly, the condition can be cloaked by other comorbid conditions. Comorbid means that other disorders occur more often than merely explained by chance. The other disorders we are especially interested in are depression and bipolar disorder, anxiety disorders, um, substance use disorders and obesity being a medical conditions. We know that these disorders can occur in a comorbid fashion together with ADHD and even dominate the clinical picture. Patients often come because of these disorders to us in the clinic or to the, to the doctor. However, we don't know the mechanisms and we want to study the underlying mechanisms in order to treat the patients better and ideally prevent the patients from getting these other disorders because ADHD being a childhood condition might be the entry point into a very negative trajectory and we hope that we can prevent this by our project and by the findings from our project. What we do know is that these conditions occur in a comorbid manner. So the epidemiology is already known and within COCA we were able to refine that even further by having access to large data sets from Scandinavia. What we don't know are the mechanisms that underlie these comorbidities. One of the results from COCA up to now is that we could look into the genetic underpinnings of comorbidity and we could indeed identify joint risk genes for comorbid conditions such as bipolar disorder and ADHD. So our research demonstrates also on the genetic level that there's a connection between ADHD and um, depression, bipolar disorder, substance use disorder. There's also two other mechanisms we postulate the dopaminergic neurotransmission and the circadian system. The circadian system would be the molecular mechanism that is your internal clock that sets your day-night cycle. And we think that this is connected to ADHD on the one, one hand and also to comorbid conditions such as depression on the other hand. So we specifically investigate these mechanisms but we also look for new hitherto unknown mechanisms. We are very proud of the PROUD study. Actually the idea here is to employ non-pharmacological um, methods to improve patients' life. There's a well-established drug treatment for ADHD with stimulants, methylphenidate being the most famous one, which is all fine. However, it um, is only one step and we want to make use of the knowledge that sports on the one hand and bright light therapy on the other hand uh, showed promising initial data to improve patients life with ADHD. So we put that into a clinical study where we compare treatment as usual with add-on sports therapy or add-on bright light therapy and uh, over this trial which takes 10 weeks we see whether this affects not only ADHD symptoms but overall health system uh, health symptoms like depressive symptoms or weight things like that. As you know it's very hard to do sports on a daily basis or get up regularly on a daily basis. We thought about how can we um, enable, empower our patients that they adhere to the study protocol and to do that we have developed a mobile health application, the mHealth app, that kind of keeps the patients engaged and we think that's a great way to keep patients motivated. To my best knowledge, 
COCA is the only international large-scale project that deals with adult ADHD and also its comorbidities. Our research builds up on previous projects on ADHD, beginning with the Impact Study Group founded 10 years ago, that then commenced into several other projects. The ECNP network on ADHD over the lifespan, aggressor type that dealt with ADHD and aggressive um, traits, and we are very proud that we just got awarded a new grant, Eat to be Nice, which deals with nutrition, diet and impulsive behavior. So this is our overall study framework, but COCA is really outstanding in that respect as it specifically targets adult ADHD.